Hey, this is Mead uh, with AUSquared.com and I'm back again for another three-minute art history and today we're gonna talk about Tom Friedman. He's one of my absolute favorite artists and I found him very useful um, to study when I was in, in school. Um, Friedman works within the overall structure of contemporary conceptual art. Um, initially, conceptual art began with the dematerialization of the art object and an anti-economic and anti-commodity agenda. Uh, but in Friedman's work, the form uh, or the material is just as important as the, the content. Um, he began working in this style during grad school at the University of Chicago in the early 90s. He painted his entire studio white and would bring in one object at a time to think about. Um, he would try to get to the very basic structural essence and the pure meaning of each thing. Uh, this led to some of the most groundbreaking pieces in his catalog, such as the slightly used bar of soap with inlaid pubic hair. Uh, he broke down the process of art making into four parts. The idea, the material, the form, and the presentation. All of these stages had to be in balance, or at least considered, for a piece to be complete. You can see evidence of this process throughout his work. He will typically base the construction of a piece on the particular form of the component parts, sort of like a molecular structure. In the toothpick sculpture, for instance, you can imagine that the points of the toothpicks are glued together in what's probably a sphere in the center, um, then built outward into its final form. He uses the full range of presentation locations, the floor, the wall, the ceiling, high, low, corner, pedestal, etc. Ultimately, we're led to think about the infrastructure that it takes to produce the commonplace objects he uses and the systems in place in our society, especially those we take for granted. Um, one of his most minimal and maximal pieces is uh, 1,000 Hours of Staring, which took five years. It's simply a piece of paper uh, at which he stared at for 1,000 hours. Um, apparently he did document the work, but he found the presentation of the documentation unnecessary. Um, so here we're entirely dependent on the title, which Marcel Duchamp called The Invisible Color, for the transmission of the meaning and medium of the work. Friedman's work is always fun to see, especially in person, and it has a wide appeal because of its uh, obvious craftsmanship and its um, use of recognizable materials, as well as its clarity. Um, I'm Mead, and this has been another three minutes of art history. Thank you.